What's going on, my trucking brothers and sisters? It's your lady pink, P to the I to the N to the K. It's pink, just pink. What's going on, y'all? So I'm getting ready to um, just give a brief little summary of my experience over here at Gia Behind. A lot of people ask me all the time, they like, pink, how are you liking it? Are you liking it? Are you happy? Are you happy that you made the decision to go over there? And I'm just like, okay, yeah, I like it. But let me give y'all a little bit more detail of why I like it over here. You know, people want to know, people are asking me these questions because some of them are truly concerned about if I just, you know, they just want to know about me, if I'm liking it and stuff. And some people want to come over here for themselves. So that's why, you know, they're trying to get their little research on. They want to know firsthand from somebody who's experienced in it already if it's a good decision to make for them. Well, baby, I can't tell you if it's going to be a good decision to make for you. You got to have your own discernment. You have to see if this is good for you in your company, in your lifestyle, you know, it's always going to be different. You know what I mean? So, y'all, I don't know if y'all know how soft my hair is. I don't know if it looks soft. <laughs> but it is, honey. It is. But anyway, so, you know, everybody's experience is going to be different. So, as far as me, this is what's going on with my world. I love it over here. Now, do I wish they had a people's net instead? I mean, do I wish they had a Qualcomm instead of a people's net? Yes, I do. Thank you for reading my mind. Yes, I do. I do wish that. It would be so lovely. <laughs> but they don't. But besides that, I'm loving it over here. You know, my flea manager is the bomb. He is the bomb.com. Shouts out to Cedric, okay? Shouts out to you, brother. You know, he is the bomb. He is, he's very professional, but he also don't know, he knows how to be personable too. You know, he knows how to, uh, like normally when I get on the phone with a, with a dispatcher, I can't stand talking to dispatchers, y'all. Every company I have ever worked for, if I ever call them, it's because I am in trouble and I need your help. I don't call for any other reason besides because I'm in I'm in trouble with something and if you call me I'm just like oh I don't, I don't even want to answer the phone I don't ignore it because this is my job and I do have to I got responsibilities and all of that stuff you know but um but I don't be wanting to talk to these people on the phone I hated talking to dispatchers I was just like oh don't don't talk to me like I feel like that like I, I was running from them like the plague honey I was like get away don't talk to me I didn't want to talk to them y'all but my fleet manager now he is off the chain i love talking to him you know um me and my man we get on three-way with him and most of the time we call because we talking about business and stuff like that but then we always end up getting off on another little subject and you know i know stuff about my fleet manager you know i know that he coaches uh these uh oh i'm saying i know he <laughs> i'm saying i know stuff about him i can't remember if he coaches basketball i think it's basketball yeah he yeah he coaches basketball never mind so yeah uh, you know i know he coaches a lot of, you know basketball you know i know that i mean i just know a couple of i know he lives in arkansas you know <laughs> you know just little stuff like that it, it's like uh I, I didn't know anything about these other fleet managers and i have never even cared to build a rapport with these uh fleet managers because I, I I couldn't stand them because they were always were so like uppity, you know, like they felt and they acted and they talked like they was better than me, and I didn't appreciate that because I'm like, baby, you're not better than me, you're not better than anybody, so don't you be walking around with your head all up or I'm, I'm sorry, with your nose up in the air like you better than somebody. I do not like that. Okay, nobody likes that, but out of all the people in the world who don't like it. I don't like it the most. Okay, just wanted to put that out there. So, anyways, but I, my 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 experience over here, I'm loving it, y'all. I'm loving it, and I know people who have had experiences over here at JB Hunt. They are not loving it. They, you know, are like saying that it was the worst decision they've ever made, <laughs> and then they have people like me you know who love it you know we get paid 65 percent of the load and i'm actually getting ready to upload another video right after this video to tell you guys about percentage of the load i know 
that 65 percent of the load doesn't seem like a lot of money it's like oh they taking 35 percent from you all what whatever i thought the same thing i was like damn you know they they taking third anyway but i'm gonna get into a whole nother video about that right after i do this video so anyway but yeah we get paid 65 percent of the load if you we, we have dedicated uh freight for on operators if you or dedicated lands if you have if you have a truck that either you own it i don't i don't want to lie either if you own the truck or if you have like your own like if you basically if you didn't go through quality or if you didn't go through uh their leasing program so basically if you have a truck from a dealer or you own it already excuse me then they have uh like dedicated accounts we have a dedicated ppg account reject this call real quick we have a dedicated ppg account and they also have intermodal i believe you could be local and stuff like that and they probably have some other stuff we have so many dedicated accounts y'all it's ridiculous if you even if you're not an own operator if you're just a company driver and you want something dedicated baby come here come here because we <laughs> we have so much dedicated it is like more than half of our fleet our entire fleet more than half of it is dedicated lanes local or some type of like gonna get you home either daily or a couple of times of uh in the week or probably every weekend like we have so much free it's it's i mean not free but like different lanes and stuff like that it's ridiculous i'm not promoting for jb hunt they're not paying me to say any of this i'm just telling you anything that you could look on google and find out for your damn self okay so but I mean, I'm just saying, if anybody from JB come watch this and they decide that they want to pay me to be, you know, like their spokesperson, their recruiter, I will take the job. Just, you know, give me some more money and I'll be able, I could do this for y'all. I could do it, honey. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, so all I'm saying is. I'm enjoying my experience over here, GP Hunt. And if you come over here and you have a different experience, don't sit up here and say, oh, pink, oh, pink, oh, baby, you lied to me. You said that you liking it and I'm hating it. Or, oh, pink, you was right. And it, it, all I'm saying is if you decide to come over here and you have a different experience than me, please do not blame me. Because all I know is that my fiance had a different experience than me and his cousin had a different experience. And I got to speak to both of them and find out what was going on, why their experience was so different than mine. And I found out that basically the fleet manager th that they had, maybe the fleet managers needed to be fleet managers for company drivers because the way that you dispatch a company driver is is different than the way that you would dispatch, uh, um, you know, IC. So, and that's not throwing any shade or anything like that. I hope nobody's taking that the wrong way. But what I'm saying is, you know, if, uh, you know, if you a company driver and you getting paid, let's just for easy, easy math, let's just say you getting paid 50 cents a mile, which everybody wish they was getting paid 50 cents a mile, right? But anyway, you getting paid 50 cents a mile, right? And you have a load that's going, uh, a thousand miles. So you know that you're going to get paid five hundred dollars to go a thousand miles okay because you're getting paid by the mile and us we getting paid by the percentage and we you that might that lower might be on that lower might be paying twelve hundred dollars or i'm gonna say something low i'm gonna say that low might be paying nine hundred dollars you know so and that and i'm only getting a percentage of the nine hundred you know so all i'm saying is basically it's it's, it's different i mean y'all know it if, if you don't know it, I'm, I'm going to be the first one to tell you it's different. You know, you can't just... We, as as business owners, you know, as, as this is my business. This is this is me, okay? This is all me. So, I just can't be taking anything that you give me just because you tell me to. You know, I need to do what's most profitable for me and my business, okay? So, anyway, I'm going to get... That's a whole other story right there, too. But, basically, all I'm saying is... The fleet managers that my boyfriend and um, and his cousin was having, those I think those fleet managers probably would be better served as as for for company drivers because I'm not saying that they're not good at dispatching. I think that they probably wasn't good at dispatching for independent contractors and they did not know how to negotiate. You know, my fleet manager would rather, you know 
pay me an additional hundred dollars or something whatever i don't know a hundred dollars or something on the lord than to have his drivers calling in every single day yelling and screaming and bitching and complaining about stuff you know what i mean he understands how to take care of the cup the jb hunt he knows how to you know uh be, be, make, make, uh, make a profit for JB Hunt and make a profit for you know the driver. He knows how to balance it out. A lot of these other dispatchers, they're not willing to add any other money to the load. You know, and, and once again, I'm not trying to throw shade at any of these people that's or any of these fleet managers, but what I'm saying is, I'm not throwing shade, but what I will say is, baby, my dispatch is better than all y'all, and I know it, honey. And when I say better, I'm not saying better because he does his job. He just understands people and the business better, is what I'm assuming. Okay, well, let me take that back because all of that was an assumption. Because these other fleet managers, I don't know them. I haven't had a personal conversation with them or anything like that. So I don't know what their mindset is. But what I know is it clearly wasn't the same as, as my fleet manager. Because if it was, then first of all, my cousin which is actually my man's cousin but i call him my cousin my cousin wouldn't have quit like he recently quit because of his fleet manager and my man was getting ready to quit because of his fleet manager so i'm not saying i'm just saying baby you you gotta you gotta understand how to please uh you know your you know who's above you your your supervisor and you got to know how to please please the driver too because if not you're going to have people quitting and you're going to have people call and if they don't quit because they're trying to stick you know stick it out for a little bit they if they don't quit you're going to have them calling in complaining and bitching and mad and trying to fight you <laughs> you know so you know you you, you just got to take it I don't know, baby. All I know is I'm loving it. So if you, for all the people that's calling or uh, uh, commenting, saying, you know, or oh, you made a bad uh, choice by going to JB, huh, baby, you could suck it. Okay, I take it back. You ain't got to suck it. But what I will say is that I did not make a bad choice. You probably made a bad choice because you couldn't find the right fleet manager that, you know, knows how to work with you and what you need. You know what I mean? But my fleet manager is awesome if my fleet manager could train the other fleet managers then i would i i'd be like you know what jb hunt is the best company ever everybody should be here <laughs> you know but um maybe that could work out maybe my fleet manager could be you know eventually train the other fleet managers and how to work with both the company itself and the driver i don't know but anyway, y'all, I'm getting ready to go because I got to connect to this trailer because I got to go get some more money. So I'm getting ready to hang this up, but I will be back maybe either today or tomorrow to tell y'all the differences between getting paid a high percentage of the load and getting paid a lower percentage of the load. I will be back. This is y'all.